Hi, this is Vivian, and I want to share another tip with you. If your life is that you are expecting that it's going to just flow and you're going to have a bed of roses, unfortunately, that's not how it works. Because when you travel in a very spiritual path and you finally decided that you're going to listen to how your higher self is communicating with you, your soul, and even the world's soul, the other people around you, will test you in many ways. And you know, majority of the people, unfortunately, when they're being tested, they give up. So, if something terrible just happened to you yesterday and you're expecting, I should be doing good because I'm actually clearing, clearing involves decluttering, ladies and gentlemen. So, Decluttering your spirit world and also your physical realities involves decluttering your surroundings as well. It could be as little as decluttering your purse, decluttering your office, right? Decluttering your house. And the good thing here is I want you to realize that, remember, apply the 17-second rule that we talked about last time. Shift immediately to what you can do about it. Instead of focusing on the problem, focus on the solution. And the solution today, if it's really, really heavy for you, is to break your karma stick. A karma is not a punishment, but it's just some kind of a form of balancing. That if you've done something terrible in the past life, or even yesterday, or this week, it's just your way of, okay, how can I do good in order to make up for that? And so the number one thing is forgive yourself, right? And the number two thing I want you to do is to break your karma stick. So if you can imagine a stick in front of you, and this represents all the agreements you made for other people to actually uh, either beat you up or really mess up with you, start to break your agreements with those people, okay? So it could be your spouse, it could be your coworker, it could be your office manager, you know, it could be anybody. Just break and do some chicken dance. It's like breaking your karma stick. And when you do that and you dance and you stay happy, you shift your energy again from being negative and irritated to being very positive. So try that. And by the way, do it until you feel good, okay? Because once you do that, you will definitely shift. And so if you would like to report to me what's happening and share with me all your progress, email me at vivian at humanmri.com so that... I can share with your wins and we can both celebrate. Thanks.